Hi guys, hope you're all well and keeping safe. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to those of you who have kindly subscribed to my channel. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anyone to, to, to subscribe and it's lovely that you have, so thank you so much. Um, okay, uh, let's talk figures. Um, we have broken through the 3000 gap. We are now on 3,691 signatures and it is constantly going up all the time. Um, we have had 3,000, over 3,000 people have shared this petition and we've had over 13,000 views. Yes, it is a bit of a shame that a lot of those people that have viewed have not actually signed up, but I believe that they may go back in that site and they may decide to sign up. And so it's always possible. And the more people push is the more they're probably likely to go back in and do this. The conversations is fantastic. Everybody is talking to each other, emailing each other, Facebooking. It's wonderful. And that's what we want. Um, as far as the petition is concerned, I have been advised by a number of people who have been contacting me that change.org is not an official government website. Now, a petition site. Now that's fine. I understand that. And I want to make it clear that I don't want people to feel committed that they have to log on to a government site in order to put sign the petition because the rules are so high. The benchmark is so high in that anybody that actually signs up a petition for the, for a government site has to sign 10,000 before they even get a response and a hundred thousand if it may be considered as a debate in parliament so for me this is about galvanizing the masses it's about building awareness that's what this is about i want people to know what's going on and i want to make sure that everybody's talking and if that's what this petition is doing then it's doing its job um the problem is that a number of people in the press are not really taking on board what I'm trying to say. It's really hard to get them to get on board. Um, one of the things that was said to me by BBC Radio 5 Live was that this lady um, is such a big figure for the Conservatives that it's not something that they're prepared to pitch and get involved with right now. So fine, okay, I get that. But this is a woman who is heading a commission who actually said out loud, racism is a perception more than a reality. So <laughs> that worries me greatly. But I thought really hard about this. I thought, what can I do? Spoke to the Voice newspaper yesterday and they were amazing. They spoke to me for a long time and they they said that they're going to look at it, but there's no guarantees. So I think, OK, what can we do? Let's keep those signatures coming in. Let's keep pushing this. I've got a couple of interviews with some radio stations and I'm hoping we can take it further out and increase the number of people that see this. But what I'm also going to do is I've made um, some. Some well, I've done a bit of research into is what is happening in respect of this review, bearing in mind what the MPs and bearing in mind what the experts are saying, is this legally correct? That somebody who has made such comments should be legally entitled to head such an important commission. Is that necessarily correct in law? So with that in mind, on Monday, I am going to contact Liberty. Liberty are an organisation who push and fight against injustice. A lot of you must have heard of Liberty, but if you haven't, they are a group who are advocates, who look at government decisions, and if they feel the cause is strong enough, then what they do is they effectively take it on. Now, I can't guarantee that they will, but with three over three and a half thousand signatures, with MPs and with experts all arguing that this is not right, maybe it's something they will take on. So um, I am going to speak to them. 
I am hopefully going to be able to draft something up and then give you all updates as to what happens because it's not over and it never will be, but it's not going to be easy. This is a hurdle, an uphill struggle. Keep those signatures coming and I will do everything I can to make a difference for us. And it's not just about this review. There's so many legal things that people don't know about. Um, in relation to what's happening in the world and what's happening in London or Britain. Um, and so many people have approached me and said, I didn't know anything about this and I didn't know anything about what was going on with this woman. So what I'm going to do is have a look at what's going on in the papers, have a look at things that I think are relevant to us and I'll post them and post them and post them. And where I can put the links, I'll put the links because this is the beginning of a journey. And if we keep signing these signatures, this review is going to go the way we want it to if we need it at all because of all the other things we already have. So bear with me and thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's keep things moving and keep contacting me because we're on the crest of a wave and we're going to just keep going. Have a lovely evening and take care. Bye.